Meet Canada's youngest cancer researchers. For more than a year, these grade six students have been looking for answers in a lab. Now, they're looking to the stars. We want to know if astronauts can decrease their risk of cancer in space because there's cosmic radiation. They're not the only ones curious to find out. Turns out NASA is too. Three, two, one, and lift off. Next month, it will be the first elementary school project in Canada sent to the International Space Station. It's quite awesome. Here's how it works. This yeast solution stands in for human cells. The young scientists then mix in antioxidant-rich green tea with half their solution to see if it prevents cell mutation. After eight weeks in space, they'll look at it under a microscope. If the play is red, that means that there's mutations. If it's white, that means there's none. In other words, that would mean green tea prevents cell mutation, something that could help astronauts. They could start making supplements for them to take when they're in space for they don't get cancer. Or a lotion that they put over their arms. Because that could block out it the um, cause Kind of like cancer. sunscreen. Whether it's a soaring success or falls flat, teachers say this project has launched a passion for science. It gets the kids' imagination going and it gets them thinking. Like my space club kids the other day said, when do we get to do this again? One last stop, an aerospace hangar where their precious cargo is packed for the final frontier. Things that we study in space help us here on Earth, like MRIs, CAT scans, those all came from NASA technology. And who knows, maybe a cancer-fighting green tea lotion will be next. Katie Nicholson, CBC News, Winnipeg.